Hello everyone, today I will show you the assembly video of the Veron CNC Carbon Fiber Lightweight Tap Kit. First let's take a look at the line rail and slider parts. Be sure to wear gloves when assembling this part. The linear rail and the slider must not be separated directly. They must be separated using disassembly strips. Lock the M3 asterisk 4 screws and fix with hexagonal nuts. Use M3, asterisk 5 cylindrical head hexagon socket screws to lock the belt pressure block. Here we use M2, asterisk 6 cylindrical head screws to lock the rails. The screws do not need to be locked. The two surfaces need to be parallel. Place the two surfaces on the table and tighten the screws. Now put the slider back on. Press magnet into groove. Lock the two boards together along the concave surface. What is used here is M2, asterisk 8 countersunk head hexagonal screws.
Lock this board against the magnet board. Use M2.5 asterisk 10 cylindrical head hexagon socket screws. Install this hexagonal copper post nut on the PCB board. Use M3 asterisk 5 cylinder head screws to lock the PCB on the hexagonal copper post. Take out the M3 asterisk 12 cylinder head screws and lock them. Leave some distance here, no need to lock it all the way. Put the two assembled parts together. This sharp corner should be right in the middle of the sensor switch on the PCB board. Align the slider and the screw holes on the board. Take out the M2, asterisk 4 countersunk head hexagonal screws. First lock the opposite corners with two screws. Don't lock it in place first, adjust the position and then lock it. Lock the other two screws as well. Now slide the slider to see if it can rebound automatically. Finally install the X-axis limit switch printout. If your machine has an X-axis limit switch, you can ignore this step. Just lock it with M2 asterisk 8 screws. Okay, the assembly video ends here, thank you for watching.